but I'm finding some things, I'm not making as many things as I could. I mean, I made this. But um, what I'm making at the moment is a Two oscillators, yes. two sine wave oscillators, yes. controlled by a little microcontroller. Yeah. Um, then I've, I've boosted those up to 50 amps capability, right. so with MOSFET transistors, power, yeah. power transistors. Yeah. So I've now got these two oscillations yes. up to 40 megahertz. Yes. Right. <laughs> <It's a> real. <coughs> yes. So I can now change, make oscillations at whatever I want. Right? Yes. So these are for experimenting with cracking water. And water. Right. Plus, I um, think so. You're looking at different. Oh, you know, that's one that's between the two sides, but yes. and the effects it has. And, exactly. and, and I can change okay. the phases of those two as well. Yeah. And also, um, you're going to love this one. I've got two ultrasonic speakers. This is a kit, the thing that I'm building at the moment. And one of them uh, makes a 20 kilohertz sound. You can't hear it. It's like 25 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz. You can't hear it. And the other one, you have doing the same, 30 kilohertz. Mm. Except this one, you modify with a microphone. So that this one you change the frequency with the microphone a bit. Yes. So it's still above what you can hear. Yeah. However, the interference passes through you too. You get audio, an audio yeah. right, heterodyne mm. at a distance. In other words, you point these two things at someone. So, oh, someone. Sorry. But then where they interfere, where they fear, you, you get, get the sound. sound appearing in space. It's bingo. <laughs> That's what I'm building at the moment. Which means that you could be walking along, somebody points this at you. There's a voice, yeah, right there. It's magic! Wow, the fuck is that? He can do magic! <laughs> right, I, I will come and catch you later when the show is in full swing. I'll be right, mate, so I'll be back. Oh, I want to see what you, what we're, because come on. There's been one more so far. <laughs> no, that's fine. Not to talk about it. Do, 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 okay. Uh, right, yeah. what we're going to do, right, yeah. is metal yeah. in water. Right. Okay. That's all it is. Right. So you can imagine two plates. Right? And one of them's connected to that and one's connected to that. I've just got lots of pairs. Right. Hey, darling, all the odd I ones are connected to that side and all the even ones are connected to that side. Okay. It just means I can cram more plates into a small space. Okay. You got it? So they're like they're like that. Okay. But this is one connection, that's the other. That's all they are. Got it? More of them in a squish space. But you could do it with just two. Then, solar panel, if I stick that on there, well, it doesn't matter, brown, red, blue, black, whatever, that will start a little bit, maybe we'll have to get a battery. Yeah. I don't know Not much happening there, is there? Not a lot of sun. If you look carefully, I'm sure we'll get a bit. Tell you what, let's try and two together, and then I'll think I'll get a battery. Because it's look, you can just start seeing a little bit in here. But there's just no sun, not enough sun here. So, what we'll do is if I join these two um, together in the two, two solar panels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So if we were to use this on a vehicle, <laughs> yeah. you would use with um they do all laugh because it's a great one. But they did, yeah. yeah. You could use for the car battery and panels. <laughs> No, I'm not really a boss, I'll be working. Yeah. I'm not a boss. 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 i am not a boss 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 i am not a bo
energy sources for mankind for the next million years. That was sorted about ten years ago. Wasn't it? No, not ten, about eight years ago. Seven years. Oh fuck! It's as simple as that. So sort mankind out. You know, I tell you, if you come to one of the talks, you'll hear what they're saying. What should I just tell you? We are standing on a ball of fire. Aren't we? It's a ball of fire. We're a little chin around the top crust. And we're standing on the top. Oh, we're going to get on. It's a ball of fire. It's a sun. It's a nuclear reactor. The Earth is a nuclear device. It runs on thorium and... Uh, uh, do you show me? That's what makes the heat of the earth. Anyway, look. So if I put this on there, you're not going to see anything over there. You need to come close if you want to see anything. I'm discovering how we're going to power my vehicle. <laughs> yeah. People are going to love this any minute now. You wait and see what happens. You can lift it. As long as this one's working, it should be. There it comes. Yeah? So, so all we've done is we've got plates of metal in water right. connected to a battery. Now I've put also two drops of sunflower, of washing up liquid in there to catch the bubbles. And the purpose for that is if somebody's got a light, At first, it doesn't often. No, it's too frothy. It's too frothy. No, it's too frothy. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me try and take some of this out. Because that's actually hydrogen and oxygen mix. But if we get proper bubbles of it, because it's just froth. Mm -hmm. This, this washing up liquid happens to be very strong. Um, it's eco stuff. Yeah, really what we want is nice sort of... Fairy liquid. Like, like fairy, yeah. Um, then each bubble uh, explodes. <laughs> like really explodes. Yeah. Really? Like really, really, really explodes. Yeah. Like everybody in the campsite's going to go... But like everybody's going to do that. <laughs> so we should stand like... Because <laughs> no. I don't think it's going to work because this is too frothy. No. It's, it's that, so what happened if it did work? Won't light. You just light it and it goes, bam, like really loud. I so what? Really loud. <laughs> Why are you trying to light really, so really big bangs here? The... <laughs> so that, that okay. The because this is wa this is water. Yeah. So I'm breaking water down into hydrogen and oxygen, yeah. which are both fuels. Yeah, sure. So, so it's an interesting experiment. Yeah. Um, that's then how, it's really simple. So that's then how you power... Well, it's not really how you power anything because it's using uh, a lot of battery power to create this much hydrogen. Okay, and oxygen. Sure. It's only about 60% efficient. In other words, the amount of explosiveness that if you were, that was running an engine, that hydrogen oxygen, yeah. is less power than is coming out of the battery. Okay. And you've got to charge the battery with something. Yeah, sure. So it's not getting energy for nothing. Okay. Right. But what happens in a car is that uh, you'll like this because I'm still basically answering the question. Yeah. Is that what happens in a car is that um, the fuel comes in long chains, hydrocarbons. They're very long chains of, you know, in petrol and diesel. And hydrogen, only about 0.1 of a percent of the fuel or less, it's very small amount of, of hydrogen needed which you can generate from your car battery with something like this in real time as you're driving along. That small amount of hydrogen that this would be, you're pumping straight into your air intake of your car, the bit where the air goes in. So you're feeding in a little, just a tiny bit of hydrogen. Well, that explodes extremely quickly, much faster than petrol burns, much faster. It's very small. But it splits the petrol up into small chains of hydrocarbons, which means that when it does go off, the, the actual petrol, it's about between 10 and 40% more efficient. So in other words, you're burning the petrol in the cylinder 
instead of just allowing it off and out into the air. Mm. It's actually burning in the cylinder. Wow. Interesting. Uh, there's lots of people making these now. Mm -hmm. How much work is it to convert a car to, to do that? How long did it take me to cut out with a jigsaw? I think I took about an hour and a half, two hours, a couple of hours to cut that with a piece of jigsaw. And then you may put it in a tube, put it on there and stick the tube into the car. Um, what I, you see, what you have to remember about what I do is I demonstrate things to people. And so I had one company, that some people met me at a festival and they just went, <coughs> they went off, spent 25,000 quid, they built up a company, sold loads of units, got loads of units all set up. And that's what I'm trying to do. Because I've got so many things that if I tell you, you'd go, you must be crazy, why don't you do that now? The planet needs that right now, why don't you do that? And then I said, well, you haven't heard about this one. <laughs> and then they go, oh my God. Too many things, so I can only show little models to get people interested to do things themselves. You know? um, come on, but it would be nice if we had big bubbles, wouldn't it? Because they're very bangy. <laughs> it's too frothy. That was that place I was talking to you guys about earlier. Um, and they do, they do oh, yeah. raw food and stuff as well. Where, where, where is it? It's um, at the top of the high street. No, it's a, oh, the, cool. uh, just next to Talis Wells, opposite Talis Wells. But it's the kind of thing that you guys you would be... There? What's that? Do you work there? Um, I have been, and do some stuff there, I do work there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, go and visit. They do raw food. Like and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll have loads of time to come to this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave you that back, but I'll remember this. Take it. See any solar shoes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Feel the end of that. Carefully. Ah, yeah. Is that there? Actually, actually, if we leave out this out here in just that much sun for another five minutes, that will give you blisters. <coughs> that hot. So I'm designing a cooker. Hiya. Oh, hiya. Yeah, I'm designing a cooker for, that operates off these. So it's just a pot, put it on the sun. All right. Six. Six. Oh. Uh, you ma you've made this? No, 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 no. This is a standard solar tube that you see on people's rooftops from creating oh, hot water. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm working on creating this, because I use this as my kettle. Yeah. You just pour water in and it's a kettle. What's your temperature tea. is make tea. Uh, Up to a... Um, 60, isn't it? No, these go up to 150 degrees centigrade wow. if you're in a proper setup. Yeah. Um, but if you're operating it without this, so because this gets extra heat, then uh, yeah, you're up to about 70, 80 degrees centigrade. Right. Um, but that, in another five minutes, even in this, yeah, you, you, you really burn yourself. It's amazing. What do you use the coil for? Uh, test the coil. Um, it's something that I've been demonstrating for. A, a long time now, mm -hmm. and when I first started doing it, not many people had heard of Tesla. Yeah, and so it's been quite good to see so many people have built Tesla coils, and uh, and I like to see people experimenting and doing things and making things. Mm. But as a research tool, mm. it's shocking, really amazing in terms of uh, possibilities. Mm. Uh, you know, I think that once you've got energy rampant like that, um, you can really start looking. Well, what is energy? What, what, what are these? You know, what is this electron wizzly wazzly stuff? What's going on? Mm. You know, and we start to think about things in a different way. Mm. And certainly with the Tesla coil, instead of thinking, oh yes, mankind already understands pretty much everything. Mankind doesn't even know why things fall down. Mm. You know, I mean, you know. Plunk, an invisible energy field, which causes th objects to go to larger objects. Mm -hmm. Well, why? It's not known. Polarization and gravitational. Just nice words. Nice words. But what's the mechanism? What is that 